It's good to see your problems. How have you been? You always stream at a time I can't watch. It's just always an awkward time because, you know, now I'm West Coast and you're in Europe somewhere. All right, here we go. Whoops. There we go. Now we got the timer right. So we got Trogdor. Jethrain with the Trogdor versus Squega. Squega is a very talented cadence racer. So we'll see how Squ Squega does. Jethrain looking for an upset, I'd say, here. Also trying to break that horrendous uh, streak right now that Blue is just barreling down on the red team. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Squega taking the time to get that potion. Going to sort of um, tank up a little. I think this is something you tend to see with a, with a sort of... Um, racer who, you know, there's definitely a seeded or a skill difference, I'd say, here. Not to say anything negative to Jethrain, but Jethrain's gonna probably push pretty hard. And Squag is gonna take a little extra time farming up. And so if the push works for Jethrain, Jethrain may win this, um, but um, the fear is dying, of course. Going mega for Squaga. Aw, oh, yeah. I wonder if, like, is it that Spooty is a tactical genius or is it just been luck like a flip of the coin it's hard to know really what's uh, going the on thing there. that the thing that tough was saying was that spooty's just really good at scouting oh really that's that was what was coming up in chat interesting we ha i mean we haven't seen too big a build difference i've seen a little bit of scouting uh being apparent but that, that that's very interesting i mean there's certainly a value there Especially if, like, you've got one of the best players just kind of telling you, like, okay, yeah, you're going to go this way in this zone. Like, maybe the mapping stuff. Oh, no, and Jethrain jumping directly into the king. Oh, that's not what you want to be doing. Oh, you no. know what they say. If you come at the king, you better not miss. That's true. They do say that. That is, is that a wire reference? Is that where that's from? Uh, I think that's just I think that's just an old adage, but it's it's also something they say in the wire, I guess. Okay, very good. I finally just watched that show. That's a really good show. Really good show. All right, Squega still in zone one, two minutes in. So I mean, Jethrain's on the same floor again. That death really didn't cost him too much, other than there's quite a substantial build difference. And hopefully, Jethrain checks the shop here, cause that shop is something else, and that might be where your scouting is coming in, like. Someone's like, I'll check the 1-3 shop because 1-3 shops can be good. And yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, that's a very strong shop. Yeah. What's up, Will? I think also one of the things we're seeing, you're, you're talking about like Squega, you know, getting out of zone one and almost three minutes in, which in a speed run, like that's, you're resetting there. But yeah, again, like Robin's racing, like if you, it's, the slow and steady seems to be, like, generally the oh, best approach. Oh, Jethrain just got wailed on in that yeah. boss uh, boss arena there. Oh, man. Especially if you notice that your opponent is dying repeatedly in zone one. Like, yeah. whatever, just do it. <laughs> yeah, so the piercing with the... Oh, we got a ring of war potential. No, gonna go with the boss shrine for the plus one damage. The three damage with the piercing is pretty dang good. So that's yeah. a nice pickup for Squega. All right, and Squig has got a different clone. Now, it used to be the, uh, what is it, the, I think the clone's palette with the, with the plate armor. Yeah, now they're just upside down. Yeah. It's good, though. I like it. So now Squig can really just push. He's got, he's got more than enough. He needs a few bombs, I guess, but. This is a, yeah, this is a, aside from, I guess the, aside from the heavy glass, like, this Ooh. is an end game, though. Took a bit of a hit there. Yeah, I mean, bombs, maybe a, a nice torch just to give you a little bit of vision. Oh, yeah, right, nice. this is Cadence. We actually have, like, the Necrodancer. Yeah. Yeah, we have the Necrodancer coming up. Yeah, this has actually been a little bit quirky to uh, commentate just because having to switch gears, I'm sure it's worse for the racers, but just having to switch gears on, like, how each character works. Even if it's Cadence, it's a little tricky. Ooh, a nice shield spell they'll pick up. That's good. Yeah, this is a, this is a supremely safe kind of thing going on here. Yeah, I wonder if... Oh, uh, man, is my... Okay, my streams almost died there. Did you manage to get the streams up then? Yeah, I got the streams up. So the new Mac SG worked? Yeah, it actually works a lot better than season than the Season 5 one. Season 5, everything was looking like Vaporwave all the time. I just kind of had to guess what was happening. <laughs> 
Well, I'm glad you fixed it. I'm sure there's been like a million versions since season five. I'm just gonna regen these uh, streams so they're not too delayed. Sorry, chat. Give me a sec. There's some of that vaporwave uh, stuff right now. Hopefully it snaps out of it in a second. Oh no, and Jethrain going down again. Look at the Seriously, mash spicy. the keyboard to continue. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. That's a good mod. I like that. I love I love anybody that adds their adds their own English translations to the game. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, you got all the it's classic a, pants a, ones and Yeah. The the translation like the actual translation stuff in this game is is goofy because it's it just replaces any instance of text with an image. Oh yeah, that is goofy. So you can you can just put in you can just put in anything, but that's how they get around like, you know, the font not supporting certain characters. Oh, or really? stuff like that or you know not have it and that also means that there's certain things that you can't there's certain things that you can't change like i remember i wanted for my stupid parappa mod to have the to have the <laughs> um parappa the mod. coin multiplier replaced with you rapping bad you rapping cool all that stuff but it all i could do was have it say you rapping and then have it say like one two three because that's hard coded into the game <laughs> yes i have seen that i know the you rapping thing that's good, though. Speaking of other things, I, I played Parappa for, like, the first time in probably 15 years a couple months ago, and that game has not aged gracefully. No? Also, is less of a rhythm game than I would have, than, than, I, than I thought. Isn't it just push buttons in an order game? Not a... Not yeah, a it's not even... Yeah, in fact, following the rhythm only guarantees, like, that you'll get a C score because the actual points come in freestyling. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You rap in three. Yep. Yeah, I had not played much of that game, but I am aware of it. I was not a PlayStation kid. All right, Squid's yeah, gonna I check this food shop. Oh yeah, and I finally picked up some more glass armor. Yeah, That's interesting. He, he walked into the uh, walked into the food shop on a uh, on a wall peg. The wall peg went off when he stepped through there, but we still saw the flash on the screen. Oh, I didn't notice that. That is wacky. Most things, I think, uh, was it Greamy that like actually did some like debug shenanigans to put enemies in the uh, secret shops to find out that just everything is suspended when you enter into a secret shop, except Almost for everything. Yeah. some traps. And I think uh, the leprechaun. The Leprechaun, I think, will spawn, but, like, just kind of hang out in place. Oh, that's right. But yeah. can still despawn. Right. Unjammer Lammy, though, yep. Yeah. That was a game. Unjammer Lammy. Why? All right, Squega pretty much uh, just waltz into the victory here. He's got a very, very strong build. The only real yeah, lack is a, uh, you know, a decent armor, but he doesn't really need it. Yeah, real, real strong build and like a full game lead, basically. <laughs> yep. Yeah, tough. This is a tough matchup here for Jethrain. Yeah. And I'm sure Jethrain's feeling it as well. I also don't know what the, uh, you know, the the yeah, this has sounds be, like for it, the red yeah. team. It's got to be bad for morale, like that it's, you, you know, we're six matches deep now and the red team has not pulled out a win. Yeah, I can only imagine. Um, I mean, there's still lots to go, still lots of plays, but of course this will lock up the victory. Um, so I guess we'll just pack it in after this. <laughs> no, we're going to play the other ones out because it's going to be some good races regardless and everybody wants to see Mary races. That's the best races. I'm actually trying to think, what are the, what would you consider the best race characters of this game? Man, okay, so the best, like, I think there was, a, I think there was some argument to be made for Melody Racing, just because that's a very consistent thing, so it's more of a, it's more of a skill-based matchup. Yeah, I see that. Um, and then... I feel similarly I mean, I about guess... Dove, in that there is a consistency between the, the character so it's it's more skill based. Yeah, like Dove your... is uh, Dove Dove is its is its own very special thing. I think 
Maybe, may, I think maybe Dove. Oh, and there goes Jeff running again. But I think Dove, uh, Dove Racing might work for the reason that Dove Speed Running is a meme. It is a bit of a meme. Just yes. like, just like once you, once you actually, um, once yeah, once you lock things down in, and and don't have uh, don't have the random drops become a part of the equation anymore. Yeah. I think Dove. I think above above racing though. I think Dove Score is like a more fascinating kind of subject. Dove Score is great. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, that's a GG there for Squega. So Squega is going to take a game at number seven for Team Spooty, who clearly picked picked very well. Not to slight anything. I mean, we've had some close races. We've had the red team, uh, you know, have the the. Um, have the the victory in their grasp and it just being snatched away from a death late game or something like that especially ravio ravio was super close um but yeah that's gonna be, think that's also gonna be as, another point for spooty i think also as far as races go um bard racing is fun in the same way that i like to watch people play tetris the grandmaster <laughs> yeah and then uh, tempo racing is tempo racing's really like we we we'd seen things go around here a bit, um, but it ended up kind of working out because tempo racing is really risky because at any time you could just like have a gray wall where you expect it to be able to dig through and oops there's the game yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah or you know you accidentally use a heart transplant and then run out of beats <laughs> plus not being able to use your uh, ham to save it. I'm really always bad. surprised when, uh, yeah, that's one of the things that surprised me was that it was lost because of multi-key inputs on Bard, <laughs> and, it, and I'm always surprised when I when I find out people are still using like two buttons instead of have instead of the macro buttons. I do that. I still do it. When I play Diamond, I even still do it because I'm weird. But you know, I did whatever. it for a while on Diamond, and then I and then I learned how to use my macro buttons for it because it was. Uh, I don't know. It was just like too mechanically cumbersome for me to keep entering all the diagonal inputs on my own. I don't know. I like embrace it. All right, we got our next character, and it's gonna be Mary. All right, this one's gonna be. I've I've never actually watched any Mary speed tech stuff, so this should be fascinating. This will be interesting, and also we've got our picks, and it's a couple of super good racers. We got Biggie Mac and Spooty Biscuit. So this is Spooty's, uh, Spooty's, um, second run here. I think Biggie's second run as well. 